A new study predicts that the average rents could soar to 7,500 in Vancouver and 5,600 in Toronto by 2032 if construction doesn't wrap up. What does this mean for renters and the housing market? Today, I'm breaking down the key findings and what you need to know to navigate this alarming trend. Ask Marco. Hi. I'm Marco Momeni, and for over 23 years, I've helped people navigate the Toronto real estate market. If you're looking for honest advice and expert insights, you are in the right place. Make sure to subscribe for weekly updates and ask Marco if you have any questions. If you're looking to sell or buy a property, you can book a call with me or one of my team members in the first link in the description. A study by Concordia University reveals that the average rents in Vancouver could hit $7,750 and 5,600 in Toronto by 2032 if current trends continue. This study uses advanced modeling to show how rents are set to climb unless we see a major increase in new construction. If you are renting or planning to rent, this is a wake-up call. Why are rents rising so quickly? This report emphasizes that without a massive increase in building, at least six times the current pace, we're going to see relentless rent hikes. With population growth continuing, the demand is skyrocketing. By supply isn't keeping up, we need to focus on building more homes to meet the rising needs of our communities. The low vacancy rates in urban areas are disrupting the usual supply and demand balance. With only 1.1% of new units added in Toronto last year, we need to increase that number significantly to start seeing any relief in rent prices. Studies suggest we need to reach about 11 to 12% of the existing housing stock to finally make a dent in these rising rents. This isn't just a statistics, it's a clear sign that action is needed now. What's next for rental housing? Experts are saying we need personalized approaches to tackle the unique issues in different neighborhoods and communities. Each area has its own characteristics and zoning laws should change to reflect that. The private sector, including developers and investors, will be key players in solving the housing crisis. If you're looking for a new home, make sure to keep an eye on these updates. With rents projected to rise sharply in the coming years, now is the time to take action. Whether you're a renter or a potential homeowner, understanding these trends is crucial for making informed decisions. Don't wait for the market to change. Stay ahead of the curve and be proactive about your housing needs. If you want more updates like this and expert insights into the Toronto real estate market, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions about your next move, don't hesitate. Ask Marco. I'll see you in the next video. Ask Marco.